हेलो देयर वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू लेक्चर तो फाइनली नाउ वी हैव टू स्टार्ट द हीट लोड कैलकुलेशन सो ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट हीट लोड कैलकुलेशन इन रेविट आर क्रूशियल फॉर सेवरल रीजन ओके बिकॉज एक्यूरेट हीट लोड कैलकुलेशन हेल्प डिटरमाइन द हीटिंग एंड कूलिंग रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर ए बिल्डिंग सो दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज क्रूशियल फॉर साइजिंग एच वी एस सी सिस्टम्स अप्रोप्रिएटली and ensuring they are efficient and capable of maintaining comfortable indoor condition okay and with the help of accurately calculating the heat load calculation heat load designer can easily optimize the hvac systems size and capacities okay so there are several reason okay for heat load calculation and the main is we need to find out the main purpose is what why we are doing heat load calculation we need to find out the cooling load and supply air flow because based on supply air flow only we have to do the duct sizing everything okay so let's start here so for that the first option first of all to uh, if you want to start the heat load calculation so just come here in analyze tab in analyze tab report and schedule panel here you will get the option of uh heating and cooling load or you can use the shortcut also lo hit on that okay so when you hit here you will get the heating and cooling loads and see the preview of your school building okay zone is showing here only single zone we have created with the help of a 1 ahu we are supplying condition air na so here you will get two tab general tab detail tab okay first come here in general tab in general tab you have to fill this all detail first write down the building type which type of building we have so we have a school building so from the list you have to select the school or university then location for which location let's say i am designing for hyderabad location hyderabad is in india okay and you know that uh, the design condition all you will get from the isre handbook so but here don't need to use that here only you have to write down the location automatically revit will take that as per that location they will give you the everything so okay so location is i am designing for hyderabad city which is in india so from here you have to hit on three dot c uh project address define location by internet mapping service is given here you can easily define the location by uh, internet mapping service also okay uh, otherwise here weather everything you will get as per that location okay so here just i am just trying to write the hyderabad see it is given or not hyderabad and just search it see uh, some error is coming an error has occurred in the strip on this page so do you want to continue running a strip on this page okay we are trying to run so okay so you will get the internet map, mapping service just write down the city you will get that detail okay so the project address cannot be located via the internet mapping service okay to resolve the problem make sure you are connected to the internet if you have internet service select the search button to locate the project address okay so remember if you have a internet service service so it is easy for you to just locate uh, give the location so write down the name of your city and search it you will get it okay then ground plane ground plane is what remember in design and architecture the ground plane refers to the level surface or floor level upon which a structure or building is situated okay it represent the immediately horizontal surface of the ground where construction landscaping or any form of building take place remember so here in our case uh, the floor is started from ground level so from here you have to select the ground floor okay then project phase here it is a new construct construction so you have to select the new construction otherwise existing one is also there so it is a new construction okay now the next option you can see here it is given silver space tolerance till silver space tolerance means gap means the gap between the false ceiling and slab architecture will give you the mep service gap okay to run your hvac services like ducting 
and uh, plumbing piping firefighting pipe and cable trays everything okay so that uh, silver space tolerance or you can say MEP service gap so let's say in our project we have a three feet gap okay so here I have given three feet uh, you have to check the gap okay how much gap is given in your architecture drawing okay then write down the detail so here I have written three feet now come here next one building envelope so in building envelope hit on use function parameter from here okay then building services which type of system you want to use here you can see the VAV system single duct VAV dual duct okay so we we need to supply the condition with the help of AHU so system I am selecting VAV okay so what is VAV system variable air volume system CAV system constant air volume system what is VAV single duct dual duct all this already I have explained you in previous lectures uh, you can go uh, you can just read that lecture all air distribution system in that I have explained you each and everything okay in all air distribution system I have discussed the types of all air distribution also generally we have a four types of all air distribution system in that you will get each and everything the detail of about VAV CAV system and other option is given okay so different option is given here I am selecting VAV single duct single duct means if you are using single duct to supply the condition air in each and every space so you have to select the single duct sometime we are using double duct suppose in some room you want to supply the hot air in some room you want to supply the cold air so we are using double duct so on that time you have to select the VAV dual duct system okay now come here is schematic types so in schematic type you have to select the uh, it is by default building only just leave it okay building now building in infiltration class now what is this building infiltration class remember the building infiltration class refers to a classification system that defines the air leakage or infiltration rate of a building okay so here you can just select the class loose medium tight so I am selecting medium infiltration class now the report type is standard after filling this detail what do you have to do just come here uh, after filling this detail in general you have to come here in next tab details so in detail see you will get the building model everything so from here first you have to select the default in default when you select now see hit on plus sign see in default you will get that space in which you don't want to give the condition air see corridor washroom electrical room because this all spaces is an unconditioned space no? so automatically by default Revit will uh, place this all space in your default so what you have to do select the default from the list like this okay select it just minimize and select it now here you can see heating information is also given cooling information is given so I want to calculate the cooling load if you want to calculate both so as per that you have to write down the detail so under this cooling information okay when you hit on this three dot zone cooling information see here you will get the cooling information dialog box first you have to write down the cooling set point so we know that we are designing for Hyderabad and in default whatever space are there it is an unconditioned space we don't need to supply the condition air so okay just write down cooling set point so when you search na, in ashtray handbook so you will get uh, for Hyderabad location uh, driver temperature is 107 so I am writing here same 107 degree Fahrenheit and when you come inside the room outside driver temperature is 107 but when you come inside the room which is unconditioned so what is the cooling air temperature on that time little bit less than outside so how much less than as per ashray 5 degree Fahrenheit less so here you have to write down 102 okay 107 minus 5 is 102 then finally hit on okay like this getting after that you have to select all the HVAC zone from the list see roof floor just select it all the HVAC zone from the list and come here service type first so select it which you are we are using VAV single duct na? 
so select that service type here in cooling information just hit on three dot now here you have to write down the cooling set point so as, uh, as you know that as per ashray for human comfort always we have to maintain the temperature how much in degree fahrenheit 76 plus minus 2 degree fahrenheit so i am taking here 76 now cooling air temperature when we are supplying conditioned air from the ahu so cooling air temperature is around 56 plus minus 2 degrees fahrenheit okay so here i am writing that so when this 56 degree fahrenheit temperature air cooling air temperature will uh, enter the room automatically some amount of air hot air is there inside the room so both will mix together and it will be around 76 to 78 or 74 okay so 56 i have given here then finally hit on okay okay in this way you have to fill the detail now here you will get one option hit on safe setting now again you have to open the heating and cooling load so in analyze tab only you will get the option what in schedule report and schedule here the heating and cooling load option is given hit on that now finally because already we have given the detail everything so you are there after that you have to hit on calculate just hit on it so when you hit on calculate now the heat load calculation all result you will get here automatically see the load report is shown here project summary building summary everything zone summary and uh, see whatever is default spaces in which you don't want to supply the condition air because see here if you remember i have for electrical room i have given vented so that is why the ventilation everything you will get from here we don't need to supply the cooling air so that is why it is written dash when you come in zone summary of roof floor ahu so here whatever space is given account department principal and everything see their area volume peak cooling load value is also given cooling airflow value is also given heating airflow value because we have not we have not uh, we have not entered any detail about heating so that is why it is showing zero okay so cooling load we are calculating so that is why for heating you can just fill the detail of heating load okay so same other remaining space you will get here uh, for second floor okay so for each and every space you will get the cooling load value uh, cooling airflow value okay based on this airflow you have to do the now from here just close the load report now if you want to again open that lo load report so automatically that will save in report in project browser when you come here in report see the load report is saved just hit on plus sign open that report if you want to see okay so have detail you will get from here now after doing heat load calculation when you come in the floor plan let's say ground floor see now in tagging you can view the tr value ton of refrigeration means cooling load value and see supplier cfm value is also given here can you see here tell me in this way we have to calc we have to do the heat load calculation in revit i hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one